Sons, and welcome back to Skyward Sword HD. So, I've been using my uh, my controllers that came with the original Switch back in uh, 2017. It's the gray one, and I just have like a skin over it. And of course, it's drifting. <laughs> but, I just got this in the mail today. I got the Skyward Sword Joy-Cons. One, because I wanted them. Two, because... There's no excuses now. <laughs> Ooh, they look really cool. Pretty cool. Nice. All right. No more excuses. So let me go and connect these Joy-Cons. Why isn't it full battery? What the hell? <laughs> Nintendo! <laughs> so it's kind of like change our angles and like go all around like a crazy person now ah oh! okay i hope i hope that stays once oof 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 don't get me all hyped for nothing so yeah i'm, I'm gonna be adding these uh, at least the box to my uh my zelda shelf it's cool to have a new pair of joy cons because yeah <laughs> All right, so we are heading back over here. Oh wait, no, we need to go to Skyloft. Duh, we need to talk to the uh, the headmaster. Hi, you're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know I'm not much of a singer. Sing it! <laughs> but, listen, as I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you, but if it's the lyrics you're after, I can recite them for you. Let's see. O oh, youth, guided by... The servant of the goddess. Okay. Unite earth and sky and bright light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. Oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower, and before you a path shall open, a heaven and a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen a tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about two whirling sails, though. Sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that? And what does it mean, two whirling sails? I know what it means. Don't worry, Kapora Gabora. I will go get it. All right, so... I'm pretty sure one of them is missing its sail. But I think this one is okay over here. I could be wrong. Yeah, this one's fine. So let's do this. I want it to point toward the tower, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Oop. Oh god. Ledge. Yeah, this one's missing. I knew it! Oh. Thank you so much for trekking down Cookie Link. It's such a gorgeous day, too. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I already talked with you. Hey. What's up, Link? Finally! What the heck? Stupid jackhammer. Jackhammer. So, you're curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so it always... It can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down off the edge, down beneath the clouds. Yeah. 
The windmill's been uselessly sitting there ever since. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller. I just realized I was I thought it was the dude talking. <laughs> You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back there. Oh, sure. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Oh, I know where it is. A flying robot. Yeah. Gonna go get that flying robot. <gasps> to the bazaar! Hi, sweetness. Uh, oh, you're back. I'll hold on to anything of yours. No. It didn't trigger another cutscene. Hang on. I need to talk to you. Hey. hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask me, right? Huh? Huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. He probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot, well, it's, what's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right. I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. She can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I've never even heard of, much less seen a thing. Take mine. Ooh. What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. I got you, bruh. So this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming out of the stem. Great, this we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here. I'll give him a running in no time. Fix up Scrapper for me, thanks. He's very Ooh. useful. Whew, there you go. And having him unlocks a lot of side quests. Thank you, bird. I've got full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. Huh. Who is this green clad individual of a small stature? <laughs> Whoa, it talked. Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix it. This kid gave me the materials I need to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm. Are you sure it was him? Because, well then, I extract my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude, vert chonk. Ow. Hey, now watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around and you're going to help him. This individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. Insert. Serving children is very low in my task priority. <laughs> Who are you? Sir, Your name is B. Should I call you Mistress B? Are you looking for something, Mistress B? I... I understand. At your request, I will carry anything regardless of weight or destination. <laughs> Master Short Pants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mr. Spee's thought waves. Should I... Should you need me ask... Should you need me, ask Mr. Spee to call me and I will arrive with haste. God. 
So how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. No, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. I don't think I need him. Okay. Because I... Oops. Um, is this messed up? Uh, slightly. Slightly. Not as bad as it usually is. Um, I always forget how to douse. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's... Is it not in there? Am I thinking of a different thing in, in here? Oh, no, no, no. It's in the, um, the fire place. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking... I, I know the location that it's in, but for some reason I was thinking that that location was in the, uh, the place we were just in. I'm pretty sure it's in the back over here by the fire. So... Yep. Okay, I'm right. Cool. You're at the long. It's time to jump! Oh, freak! <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that's the first time we're seeing this cutscene. Watch your step there. Haven't they taught you at the academy that knights must always be vigilant? Sharpen up or you'll never make it to knighthood. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Yeah. All right. Okay, I know where to go. Yep, I know exactly where to go. We're going at the top, at the temple entrance. Yep, yep. I know where it is. No, no worries, Fee. All right. So yeah, you're supposed to use the dowsing ability to try to figure out where in the heck this thing is. This crazy, this crazy place, but it's just sitting down here. And if you took a notice to it earlier when you're finding the uh, the things to dig up, yeah, it's just right here. This is the windmill. Oh. We're calling the robot. Mr. Sphi, I hope you weren't waiting long. So, you want me to carry this? Hey, Master Short Pants, you're in my way. I said get out of the way. Maybe I should give the robot, like, an Alexa voice or something. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. Be like a GPS. <laughs> All right, to the sky! Cool. Nice. It actually let me fall here. Great. Here's that windmill propeller. If you need me, Clang, feel free to call. For Mistress Fee, I will travel to any destination. Isn't that the beat up old robot from Gondo's place? Wait just a second. Is that. Is that the windmill propeller? That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying the whole story handed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Somehow I get the feeling this is all some elaborate prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing. This goes in here, and that just cranked a few clicks. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Foo. That ought to do it. If you can find some way to spin the propeller, yeah. Hey. Honey. Oh no, I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cupboard. I swear that woman's always looking for somebody. See you around, Link. Bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's like, man, them women always telling me to do things.
What? Yeah! Woo! Oh no, I gotta do the harp again. No! <laughs> no! Alright. Let's see if these controls are gonna be responsive with my new controllers. With my new Joy-Cons. <laughs> I'm supposed to stand here. There we go. Okay, here we go, Flint. actually working! Oh my god! Oh my god, it worked, Flint! I love the Ballad of the Goddesses. One of the best, uh... Zelda songs that Nintendo or Koji Kondo has written. There it go. And it go boom in the clouds. Nice. All right, let's go explore the new area. All right. My bird is supposed to be able to fly very well in the uh, rain. <laughs> ah, this. That's right, there's a puzzle here. Ah, this is gonna take me a minute, Flens. <laughs> This always takes me a while. Um, That's right, because that's the bridge. Yeah. Okay. So then let me see. Yeah, okay. Okay, because that puts up that. 
Got it. Got it. Okay, so let me go. Let me do that. Let's push. Oh, I have to push it the whole way around again. Hang on. There we go. Now they're all in the line. All right, now just don't mess it up. <laughs> Whatever you do, just don't mess it up. Okay. Switch it back to this one. All right, we're good. Done. That's not hard. <laughs> I used to make that a lot more complicated for myself. <laughs> Uh-oh, sword is messed up. There we go. It's not perfect, Flens. It's not perfect. But it does seem like it's a little bit better. It's the Shingen Goddess statue. So I took this out of the thing so you can kind of see, like, the pattern's really cool. She likes to dance. That green bird. That one was cool. All right, we got ourselves a new shell. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know what's you know what's about to happen. Oh god. <laughs> the first one isn't that bad. Time to go to Far and Woods for our trial. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Okay, now this one I actually don't remember where exactly I should be. Um I'm pretty sure I want it I want to be like in the woods. Or maybe oh, I think it's near the viewing platform. Let's go here. I'm pretty sure it's right around here. Yeah, I think it's where those butterflies are. Yeah. Great. <laughs> One 
want to jam out a little bit. All right, here we go. night and day comparison. <laughs> Whew. Here we go, friends. Are you ready for our trial? Yo, if you thought, if you've never played this game and you thought that the Guardians and Breath of the Wild were scary, you haven't played Skyward Sword. <laughs> You don't know what the heck you're talking about. I mean, they are scary in uh, Breath of the Wild, but it is nothing like this. Oh, you want me to wait? But I have it. I'm a thrust. I was thrusting. <laughs> oh my god. Seems all fine. <laughs> all right. So it's kind of like in Twilight Princess where you gotta collect the little, like, the little, you know, things um, from the bugs. But there's a twist. <laughs> if you get hit once, you're dead. And, yeah, if you take even a single step outside the protective circle, then the guardians will wake up. And you don't want them to wake up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, and then you're good for 90 seconds. These little things will show you where they'll send up like beams, so you can kind of figure out where some of them are. Okay, so there. Just one up here. Okay, so the far and woods one isn't bad, but you gotta do one in every area. Okay, these things, you don't want them to spot you because it'll just alert them. It'll just alert the guardians, and then you're screwed. I'm pretty sure I remember where most of them are. But yeah, you gotta also do this in the volcano area, you gotta do it in the desert area, and then you gotta do it in another spot. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh no! No, 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 no! I know it's waking water! I know! I didn't think I'd actually land it, I thought I'd land in the center! Oh! <sighs> okay. Get on the log. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave that one there. Okay, these guys that are just moving around with the big bubbles, they are very sensitive to noise, so you don't want them to hear you. Oh my god, I hate this so much. I have so much anxiety. I've done this a bunch of times because I played this game, like, a few times, and I hate this every single time I do it. I freaking hate doing this, even though I know where pretty much all of them are. 
It gives me so much anxiety doing this. <laughs> and I don't think I'm the only one. <laughs> okay, balance. Balance for your life. Balance as if your life depends on it, because it kind of does. Your spirit life. first. That. Give it to me. Okay. I want that, I want that relic right there. Those ones can't hear me because they're up high, but those ones that are on the ground, those ones suck. Oh god. So I just gotta be extra quiet. Okay, and there's one over there. Why am I whispering? Still whispering. Boo, you're an imbecile. I know, game. Okay. Now this waking water goes away. You gotta be... You gotta time it right. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna wait. Okay, so there's that one back at the beginning, and then I still need two more. Oh, oh, there's one in front of me. Okay. The beam is just going away. Okay. those beams up again. Oh, and then the last one's over here. Great. So then I just have to make my way back. Oh god. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> okay. And then that other one is on my way back. So... <gasps> no! Why did you hear me? What? It's a buttload of crap. I guess he saw me? I didn't know if they could see me. Okay. And there's this guy over here. I'm gonna go around. I'm glad I saved that, that one. We're good. We're good. I think I would have made it without this one, but I would definitely be freaking out. <laughs> so I'm glad I saved it. Great. And then you still have to make it back. So there's been times where I've done this and I've, uh, I've failed because I couldn't make it back and the guardians got me. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Oh, first trial is over, friends. Oh, Boo's anxiety can now go away. Until the next one. Oh, I hate those so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I got the water dragon scale. The sacred gift lets the goddess go de blah. So I can go underwater now. I can swim underwater. So now we can go under the water and in the tree. Congratulations. Indeed. Okay. 
All right. Ah, <sighs> what do you want? <laughs> Hello again. I see you have the water dragon scale there, Q. That's amazing. I heard that if you have one, you can swim through the water like a dragon source through the sky. There must be places here in the woods that you haven't visited yet. You should use the water dragon scale to explore areas you couldn't even get to before. Thank you, Buka. Ah. Well, that sucked, friends. Um, I <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't have to redo it again. Oh, okay. If you like this video, go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to become a friend, and I...